Okay, let's start by logging. And here we are. I'm using Gargoyle. It's a firmware based on OpenWRT, Attitude Adjustment Branch. You can see here the revision. This is my radio type, AR71. It's a TP Link uh, 741 ND. It's a very cheap device. Um, and here we're going to show you how to do some tuning. Okay, let's start with hardware mode. Hardware mode defines uh, the way your radio is going to operate. If it's going to operate in B, it's going to if it's going to operate in B G or in G or in B B G N. There's also A N if your radio is uh, A standard. So right now, but for long distance, usually it's good to start with B because usually over long distance B works better than than G. Although G right now it's quite stable even over long distance links. So we're gonna leave this at B. Now the very important thing is the basic rate. Basic rate. This is the rate that your um, transmission is controlled, like the the hacks, the hacks of the of the communication, the packets, the, um, the control packets to see if the, they're reaching the the destination in time, and so on. They are all done with this in this basic rate, so we set it to one. Uh, this is no scan. This is actually for um, N mode. Usually, I set it to disable just just in case even if I set it to B I just like to have it disable the beacon interval, this is very important um, you can play around with this it can be usually the typical number here is 100 um, I found with this radio I can get better results with a higher with a higher value even with the 300 uh, 250, 300 I get to a decent bandwidth, even with a beacon this this high. Transmission power, TX power. Um, usually, this this is um, a point where many people fail because usually they think if I have uh, more power on my link, I'll have a better link. I'll have. Uh, more stable link. Uh, that's not true because usually the radios they don't they don't come with a noise filter, and um, and the more power you have on your radio, the more noise you also have. So the uh, the ratio uh, signal to noise sometimes when you increase the power is actually smaller than we have than uh, when when you have a lower power. Usually I use 16. I can go up to 18. This radio goes up to 20, uh, but um, usually 16. It's uh, a good, it's a good ref, it's a good reference. It's more important to have a good antenna than actually to have uh, an amplifier. If you have a antenna with more gain or a directional antenna to to have a, an hour uh, beam, it's more effective than actually having a lot more power setting this to 16 channel bandwidth typical bandwidth is 20 megahertz this number here is megahertz um, for n it's 40 but um, if you have problems with interference because of um, of neighbor radios you can set it to 10 or even to five if it's very very noisy but the thing is both radios on both ends they need to, to be operating in the same channel bandwidth or you won't have communication so remember if you set this to 10 
the radio on the other side has to be 10 also. So I'm going to just leave this to 20, which is the standard. There's also the preamble. Short preamble, usually I set this to 0. Why do I set this to 0? Because if this is enabled, if for some reason the radios disconnect, they will have to negotiate again the link. This is in a short preamble. When you have a when you have long preamble, that's what I'm saying here, I'm telling it to use long because short is disabled, so it's going to use long preamble. Um, even if the radios lose their connection, the long preamble is not going to disconnect immediately, it's going to wait longer until they actually disconnect. So for a long distance, if the radios lose their connection for, uh, for a moment, the longer the longer preamble will maintain the link then they will reconnect again okay the distance the distance uh, tells the access points the amount of time the amount of time is going to wait until a packet is retransmitted if he doesn't receive the acknowledge of the packet he sent he's going to retransmit it and this distance what it does is just sets that time to a higher or lower value so the higher value you have more time the access point is going to wait for it uh, to, get have, to have an answer so you just set this after you done you just set UCI commit wireless so this just writing and you do Wi-Fi this is like a reload of the wireless interface